Hi everyone. Hi Dawn. Barry. Hi Gwen. Mama. Hi Army. How is everyone? Oh my gosh, it's raining so hard here, but not as bad as the severe, severe weather you guys have been getting in the Midwest. Hi, sweet. Can you guys hear me? Is anybody going yet? Hi, Sandy. <laughs> Hi, Army. Hi, Bunny. I don't see anyone talking yet. Let's see. God, it's an awful long lag. It's really, really bad weather here. So I hope the Ustream behaves tonight. I had a hard time getting in. I couldn't get my camera to load. So I had to go all the way out and then come back in. Wow, it's a really long leg. You guys hear me yet? Oh, yeah, there you go. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> All right, good. So tonight we'll finish the mini album, and then I have some cards. And then, yes, I'm on. I'm on, sweet. Can you guys see me? Video's not working. Yes, you can see me. Okay. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Ella. Hi, Scrappy Lady. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Magana. So before I get to, we get to, hi, Jun. Okay, let's see if we get you to one. You have video now? Okay, good. Yep, okay, good. Hi, very nice. Yeah, I'm on now, so you should be able to, if you can't see me, you need to refresh. Yeah, I had a hard time getting my camera started. It only took me like 15 minutes to get it to go, so let's keep our fingers crossed that we'll be okay tonight. <laughs> So before we get started, um, I really don't have what I want to get ready for our next class. So next week, what we're going to do is um, we're going to work on a mermaid canvas. So we're going to be using the um, this stamp here, but we're going to do it with um, the paper clay. So I'll show you a canvas that I did. Um, with my uh, Gabby has a girlfriend who just got a new apartment down by the shore. So, um, I want to make her a canvas. So I'll show you what mine looks like. Mine is a lot bigger. I'm not going to make it this big, but uh, I don't even know if I can get it all on camera. So, let's see. So, let me see. Oh, I can't even get her on right. Let me see. I might have to, let me move back. I might have to put her on this way. Let me see if I can adjust the camera. It's going to be upside down. Hold on. Uh, let's see. There we go. So it's hard to see. It's a pretty big canvas. It's like um, 24 by like 18 or something like that. But this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take the mermaid stamp and then we're going to do a clay figure and then we're going to move her around. I wish I could get this. So, um, let me see if I can put this way like this. Uh, nope, that's not going to work either. It's really big, so it's very hard to see. But that's what we're going to work on. We're going to work on the canvas uh, with the mermaid. And then we'll um, distress her uh, tail and her body. And I'll show you how to do her face and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the scales on her fin. Yeah, so I'll show you how to do that. Yeah. So that's what we're going to work on next week. We're going to do a mermaid canvas next week. And then, so what we'll do is we'll um, 
stamp the mermaid and then you'll take your clay and you'll do the different um, pieces of her and then we'll move her arms around and stuff. So, thank you, Deb. Oh, thanks, Jean. Yeah, I'd love the mermaid. Yeah, so that'll be fun. So we'll do some mixed media next week. We'll play with some Lindy's, the paper clay, um, and then we'll get it. I'll try to do a small, not a real big canvas, maybe like a 12 by 10 or something like that. We'll see. Thank you, Bunny. Yeah. All right, so tonight we want to finish up our album, and then um, hopefully um, the last 45 minutes um, we're going to do the cards. So let's um, start with that. We still have to do our front cover. This is where we did the ball. We still have to close our pages, some of them. This one we still have to close. I went ahead and did this because I needed it to dry so that we could work on it tonight. Hi, up nurse. Hi, Moni. So what we're going to do is I glued the um, fish that we did last week. So you can see there's the fish. I'm already going to add this little one, too. So we'll add that to the page. And then um, before I leave, remind me, I want to add some more sand down here. And then I can't find my mermaid that I cut out. Um, so we'll have to um, hope she turns up. <laughs> so what we're going to do is get the other book out. We're going to do this on this page. Then we'll close this page up and then we'll work on this part. And then keep going. We don't really have too much to do. Add this on here to make the pockets. This, I'm waiting for my octopus die. So I really don't want to put fish. But um, I'll show you how to do that. And then we have our last page to do. So hopefully we get that all done. So let's start on this page. We did this one already. This one's closed. This one. This is just a little die that I have. Um, it's a Sizzlitz die. And it's just like little wood pilings. You can see it there. So then we're going to do this. So for this, we need our string, our rope, <laughs> 11 cards. Wow, that's good. All right. So we want to cut about like this. My scissors. Oh, I didn't bring my other scissors up. So in order to do this um, boat knot, I don't, I don't know what it's called. What you need to do is make a loop. And then you want to put one inside here. One outside. And then... I gotta make sure how I did this last time. This one goes in, this one goes out, in. That's not it. Of course, no, I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> so let's see. This one is in and one is out. This one's over, under, and over. Is that it? No, that's not it either. It's going to be close enough for tonight. Let me see how I did it. I really want to remember how I did this. I think it was like this. One loop like that. And then let me see this loop. This one goes underneath. There we go. So you have to put one loop inside the other. So let's do it again. This loop, then one goes on top, and one goes, sorry, this one goes on top through here. And this one, we have two loops, we have that. Another one has to go through. Oh, I'm never going to get it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see how I did this one. In and out, in and out. Okay. So we have this. Then you want to twist, come back up, and put this one through like that. 
and then back this one through. So you have to put them back through the loops again. Nope, that's not it either. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get the book out. All right, let's see. We have, oh, I wish I didn't glue it all the way now so I could see what I was doing here. One loop. One loop and one loop. That's what it's supposed to be. This goes through here, one loop through there. That's one. And that's what I have there. And then this twists again. Pretty sure it twists forward. Oh, you guys are going to kill me. I might have to come back and do this next week. Let's see. There it is. You really want me to do that again? <laughs> the mermaid stamp. The mermaid stamp is a graph of 45. Um, let me see if I have it here. Oh, the big mermaid stamp that I showed before that um, scrap a dab -a doo they have it. Yep, it's a Prima stamp. And then this is the other mermaid stamp from um, graph of 45. Now, let me see if I did this right again. Okay. So, all right. So we have the knot here. If you really want me to do it again, <laughs> I have to look on the boating. Let's see. I'm not going to take that one apart. Let's do another one. In case I don't get it, I'll have to show you on my blog next time what I do with the string. Here we go. So let's try it again. One. It's a scout's <laughs> not right. Let's see if I can do it right. I should have printed it out. I thought for sure I would remember, but of course I didn't. All right. This one goes in there like this. This is up and over. Gosh, I wish I could remember. I'm going to have to put it away. I'm not going to remember. <laughs> Should I teach your six-year-old to do her shoes? So I'll have to try to get it and then show you guys next week. I'll have to print it out because I really don't remember how I did it. It was terrible. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to staple this. I'm like, oh, I hope I put my stapler up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to staple this on here. So that's the reason why you don't want to close these pages either, because we are um, adding stuff to it. So I just do a crisscross on each one. And then same at the bottom. And then I'm going to cut these off and add some glossy accents so it doesn't unravel. But I'm not going to do that now. Otherwise, we can't work on a page. So then what we need is my stamps. I need to stamp the um, seahorses on here. the two seahorses. Whoops. So I'm just 
out of the way. And my brown ink. I see Jen has a tutorial for these little mini distress inks. It's really cute. So. There we go. You're not a fan of stapling on cards. Put this back. Yeah, she fixed the link. <laughs> so let's just cut these out. One. <laughs> Jess wants Jen's tiny attacher. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking for my little anchors. I know I brought them up.
I have like three different bags, and I thought I put everything in one bag, and it's not in there. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I found my mermaid. There she is. Not organized at all tonight. Where is everything? I have the mermaid. I have this. There it is, hiding under the book. <laughs> Hi, Miss. Jenny, did I say hello? I'm not sure if I said hello to Jenny. this and I um, die cut this with a little chipboard so I have the anchors the ship wheel we have the little seahorses and then I'm gonna use my black pop dots here so on this one I'm just going to add it right on to here so I'm going to use some um, fabric tack what do I have here? Is this three and one? Three and one. I'll stick that one just right there. Put my little seahorse here. Can you see? You need to be a little closer. Let's see. better. Stick that one there. And then I have the other seahorse. And I just made kind of like a collage in here. Where is this? So this one's going to go like this. Then this one will go like that. I'm going to put a little pop at the bottom here because we want this to be like a pocket. So we're going to stick this one right here like this. Then I put the ship wheel here. Put this one underneath. Like that. So I'll put a little glue here. Hi, Sophie. Left down like that. I'm going to stick the seahorse like this to complete the collage like for the pocket. So I need a little glue here. Don't put that in focus here. Like that, 
and then one more anchor down here like this. I'm actually going to put one more pop down the bottom there. Oh, I'm like way off camera tonight. And there we go. So that's that page. And then that will let us put our um, mat inside here like this. So it'll be able to hold like that. I don't know who else is doing it right now. So we have that. And I have one of these little my original, I have um, a Prima Seagull. So you see, I have the Prima Seagull there. But today I'm just going to put this little, this little one that I have here. Oh, your mom's driving down. See, that's nice, Dawn. Hi, Elaine. Eileen, hi. <laughs> you just get in from work? Oh, I have such a hard time to get these off. Where's my knife? I forget how hard this stuff is to get off. There we go. All right. I'm going to stick that in there. And there's our finished page there. So on to the mermaid page. So now we can close this up. So we just want to add just very little glue so we could get our 4 by 6 in there. So let me go with my... quick dry in here. I'm sure I need a pin. Oh, your dog sitting. Oh, the store's empty. They emptied the whole thing. We had our last, um, they had a big crop at our uh, scrapbook store. This was the last week and it was open. It was very sad. Now we want to close this up, so we want to just put very little glue, just as thin as you could get it. I remember we're just doing these, we're leaving the pocket. Oh, my hands are so shaky tonight. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll just close that up. Who wants a new Cricut machine? <laughs> it is very sad. We were sad about it. Okay, so this page is done now. So now let's move on to this real quick. So let me cut out the mermaid. I'm just going to do it really rough. I'm not going to take the time tonight to do it, but I just want to show you. You're just going to cut her and then pop her up. So 
So see here, the mermaid, I, and I put the netting here. And then what I do is I would trim her out, put some pop dots just on the one side of her here. Oh, I'm way off camera. One side of her here. And then it would pop it up. This way you'd be able to stick your photos in there. So like I have on the original. And then I glittered her up in glossy accent. Or, oh, let me put a little focus on for you. Oh, thank you, I mean. Uh, let's see, autofocus. Uh, let me move you out just a little. Nope, the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so see how this one is nice and sparkly? And I put some glitter on her. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. So see, there's the pop dots. And then I just get this um, from the flower uh, shop, you know, um, any flower. I always look for stuff that looks like seaweed because I do a lot of ocean stuff. So this stuff here was like perfect. So then I just cut a little piece of this off and put it on the corner here. So let's just cut a little piece off. And we don't need the flowers. I cut the flowers off. So let's go to here. like that so I'm just going to glue that there at the bottom and then I'm going to put it in with this whoops I'm going to glue that here I'm going to hold it with this for now while we're working. Like that. And then I'll add more sand down in here. Um, and then if you see in here, I glossy accent the little seahorses too. So can you see? It's kind of shiny. Same thing with the octopus. I octopus. I uh, glossy accent that and this. So now what we want to do is let me put the mermaid in here so I don't forget her. So I'm gonna add her on later. Stick her in here. Then we want to add a piece of um, twine on here. Let's see what I have. And I'm gonna use some red this time. I had beige the other one, so I'm going to use um, red this time. So I use that. And that was a button that I had, so I don't have another button. I'll just have to cut another anchor. So I'm just going to cut this here and then attach this. Add that there, and then we have to add our fish. I forgot all about our fish. Hi, Kathleen. <laughs> so, what we want to do is oh, I lost one of my gold balls. I know I saw it around here somewhere. I'll have to add that on later. Oh, there it is. Let me fix that now. Oh my gosh, it's really raining. There we go. 
All right, so in order to do our fish, where's our big one? Since this is all, you know, loose in the back here, what we have to do is add a piece of paper to the back. So I just cut a scrap piece of paper. Here. And then what I'm going to do is put this on this side underneath the netting. I should part turn it around so you could see it. So see this piece is going to go underneath the netting. So this way the fish will have something to be glued to. And so what we're going to do is add this through the netting. like that. And then all we have to do is just add our fish on there. And then that will allow us to put this matting on here like that. So can you see that? And what I do is I'd go back and cut that little piece off there. Let's see. So that's how it looks. Focus. Oh, there we go. Yep. And so then this is the way that will free it from so that you'll be able to stick that on. And so I think I'm going to put this other little fish up there too. Might as well put them both on there. So let's cut another little piece. So I'll stick this one behind there. Hi, Terry. And we'll stick our other one up here. So it's our cute little page. And then, of course, I'm going to cut the, um, I don't think I have my, I'll cut a little hole here for like a paper, um, you know, uh, what do you call these things? This. See how I did that? And then I'll put some string on there. Thank you. Thank you to have the fish. Yeah, the fish are really cute. One of my favorites. And then what's nice is that you can see it right through the porthole. Well, you can see my camera. <laughs> Come on, focus. There we go. All right, so we have that page done. So next we want to, I don't want to turn yet. I'll give it a few minutes to dry. What we have to do now is we're going to, I used a Martha Stewart punch for the C dollars here. So what we're going to do is add these two bands here and I made a pocket for those. So we'll do that. So I have those strips cut out already. Let me smooth this over. So I want to add these in the middle and I want to ink them first. Oh, thank you, Sophie.
the tape on both sides. And so what we want to do is measure, kind of get this in the middle. Looks like that's good. It's a Martha Stewart one. It's one of her oldest, older ones. Um, like when she first started coming out. She also has one that has like a sandcastle and a shovel and a pail, I think, too. So I want to cut this right here. But I don't want to cut that little starfish. So just trim that off like that. So that's one. Whoops. We need one for the other side. So I want to try to get the same like I have here. Uh, let's see. Um, there we go. Hey, you're welcome, Kathleen. Oh, sorry, Fran. <laughs> You have the sandcastle one? That would be cute, too. All right, so let's see. We'll get these even. Let's make sure we get this even. And we'll do the same thing. Cut this. You have one too, Susan? Okay, so now we have that. By the sea and by the sea. So you want to add that on. Oh, we can close this page now. So what we're going to do is close this. Then we can add this down on there on each side. Well, that's nice, Jen. All right, so then we can go ahead and glue these down. I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm just going to use quarter inch tape. Or is it? Uh, Linda, you can see hers on the scrap a blog, or if you um, go to scrap uh, scrap a Facebook page, and uh, you should be able to get it from there. And she has links and measurements for you to do it. I don't know if, um, Jen, can you post it? I allowed links, so you should be able to do it. 
hundred H two O's. Oh my gosh, Eileen. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Is Dawn there? I only have, oh, only seventy instead. <laughs> Maybe Dawn can post the uh, scrap a dab a do blog for you, Linda, so you could get it. Yeah, post your blog, Jen, so that uh, she could see it. There you go. Good. <laughs> There you go, Linda. Yeah, if you want to see the um, storage um, box, you go to Scrap -a -do, um Facebook page, or you can go to their um, their blog. Okay, so we have that. So now we'll be able to put um, ads in here on both sides. So that's that page. So now for this page. Um, I'm waiting for, uh, on this page, what I did was I um, put magnets and I put the fish on here, which is a um, Spellbinders die, but um, they just came out with the octopus die. So for these pages, I want to put um, an octopus die on here. So I'm not going to do that tonight, but if you wanted to add the fish on there, what you would do is you would take your fish, fold the tails over, and then put your magnet, and you'd have to glue your magnet here, and then find the magnet so that they match up together. But I'm not going to do anything with this page, because like I said, I want to wait for my octopus die to come. So now we can go on to the last two pages. So that's this one here. These two. Remember we did our octopus last week? Um, where is mine? So, so see now that we have a pocket for this. So that fits in there just like that. So let me get my octopus. Where is he? From last week. I thought I had it up here. I'm pretty sure I had it up here. Hold on. Gotta look for him. Oh, there he is on the floor. So what we want to do is on this page here I added the um, cork starfish. And that is I thought I took it out. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Looking, looking, hold on. There it is. Okay. So this is um, the self-adhesive um, cork from Die Cuts with a View with a little pad. I think I have it over here. So I just die cut it from this. And then you could peel this off if you wanted to. But since I'm not going to use it to flip or anything, I'm just going to leave it on there. So then what we have to decide is we want to make this a pocket. So what I want to do is, can you see? I'm going to bend this back and bend this piece back. And then I can peel this part off since that's the glue and peel this part off like that. So we can glue this down. And glue that down. And then that's our pocket. So that um, we'll have a pocket for here, like that. Hi, Aunt Maggie. So then what I'm going to do is we have to glue this one down. 
this is our last page um, but let me see what I did here yeah it's a pocket yeah so what we want to do is glue this down so let's go ahead and do that and this I mean I made this a pocket also so I just want to glue the the sides here Oops, too much there. So I'm going to glue this down. everything that and then push this on the outside here Okay, and that closes good. Perfect. So, let's see. Oh, I better plug you guys in talking about that before I lose you. Hi, Mermaid. There we go. So now we want to add our octopus. I think I'm going to add some netting while we have that on there. Let's see. This might be too small. And so we want to make this a pocket. So I'm going to add some tape at the bottom here. And then glue on where his head is. So this way we can still stick a mat inside there. So we want to make sure that we don't put any glue where we don't need it. So we want some foam tape on the back. I'm just going to cut a piece of this. So I'll to go to there. Yeah, she fixed her links for the mini storage. They're they're right now. You get them either on Facebook or at the on the blog, Scrappy Deb Do's blog. So we have that. I want to tilt it like this. I'm going to put a little bit on here. There and there. So we'll have that. So it'll be just like that. And then I'm going to add a little glue behind his head. So that's good. We'll take that off. Thanks, Chad. I'll have to post it in the description for you guys, too. We're watching and recording Jen's uh, mini storage for distress inks. So we have that down. And then I'm going to add some glue right in the back of his head here. Probably should add a glue dot. I'll just hold that there for a second. Yeah, I heard the silks are having a problem with the silks. They're not going to be making them. So if you really like them, you should get them. Okay, so we have that done. So now our mat can go in and out of here pretty easy. We could even fit one in the back here. So um, what we have left now, let me just hold that down. Make sure it stays. Let me put that on there. Um, we need to close this pocket up. So 
I'm gonna put this on here like this. I'm gonna close that. Make sure it's nice and tight. That closes down. Okay. So we have everything done now but the front page. So we have that. Oh, I need to show you how to do this star. This is just one of the starfish from um, the front. And I don't know if you could tell, but I um, made it kind of dimensional. So you could see it. Hi, Ash. So I'll show you that real quick. So let me get a paper. Cut these down. So now you'll be able to put one in here as well as all these pockets you'll be able to fit a um, um, one of these cards in here as well as sticking this. This one might be closed. Too short, too long. These will fit in here like that. And that's our mermaid. We have that page. So let's do our front. See, the craft text has held up pretty well. It's done really good. It's not really fluffy, too fluffy. <laughs> so there we go. So we have that. All right, so now let me explain to you. Oh, I didn't do starfish. So what I did was I cut this out. So what I did was I took, once you cut this out, then you're going to take um, your stylus. Oh, I have a better one than this one. Let's see. This one is too thick. I'm looking for my other one. This one is it's a really pointy one, but maybe I could use the one in my, on my scoreboard here. No. Not on my scoreboard here, so I'm just going to show you what I did here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to score this now, right down the line here, like this, each one. Can I do them all? Let's see. Nope, this one. So see how it's scored? I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there you can see it's scored now. So now what you're going to do is bend them like that. And now you have a dimensional starfish can you and it's hard to tell there you go can you see now it's like dimensional so and then you can see here how it 
it's cupped up like. You see it there? Come on. There it is. So and then we want to keep this all nice and dimensional. So what we're going to do is put some pop dots there in the middle. So I'm going to add one here. Take this off. Thanks, Jenny. All right. I'm going to add one more on here. Thank you, Fran. Okay, then we can add that on now. I want to get going too so that we can still do our cards. So this is just going to get popped up like this. And it add onto the page. So like that. Okay. All right. So now on to the front cover. So let me explain how to do that. So this was our back cover, right? And we cut this off to do the bikini. Well, these two pieces form the front of the album. So what we're going to do is you cut these off. So see, I cut that off like that and cut that one off. And then you're going to just adhere the two little tips like this. Then you're going to flip this over like that. Down here. And what you're going to do is come down about three inches. So you want this point here to be like this, three inches like that. And we want to, oh, of course I put it upside down. <laughs> That's the front cover. We want to come down three inches to here. Like that. And then I'm going to take your pencil. And you're going to mark it. Oops, of course I didn't do that too well. Come down here like this. That's going to be the front of your album, how to cut it. So that is the front. That's how you get the front of this. The top of your bathing suit. So what we want to do now is I'm still doing this wrong. <laughs> so this is what you need to do. To do like that. And then what I'm going to do is draw a slight pencil line here. So that I know where to put the ruffle. So 
So you're going to have that. Can you see it there? Yeah. Okay. So we need our ribbon. And we want to add our glue. I think I'm going to add tape first and then, um, where's my tape? And then glue. So I'm going to come down here like this. It's just to hold the ruffles in here. We have that down. Take this off. And it's going to be just like we did on the back. You're just going to create ruffles. So, I fold this back. It's a nice thing about being wired. <laughs> you need to make a bra card. So, and then you're just going to go ahead and follow this line. Oh, I want to add, oh, I'll add, I'll add after. So, I, about a thumb, and then I bend it back. So, about an inch. And then back, I need to hold it this way. And you're just going to follow the ruffle, the curve. And then back. We'll make sure you get it. What's nice about this is you can follow this beige line to make sure that you're I really go back. And then like that, and then cut it here. Fold this end back. I'm going to go back here like this, back up, and then there. So there's our ruffle. Now we need to cut our bra. So let me get that peach. So we need to cut that on with this. Make sure, yeah. So let's trace this. Move this all over. Make sure you have it even. So
we have that. Let me just make sure that it fits her. Let's move all this out of the way. So now we have her like this. So that looks pretty good. I could have went a little bit bigger on this side here. I might have to just adjust that a little bit. So I'm going to put tape along here. I'm going to add some glue too, but I want to add just tape just so it'll hold it down. Oh, I have to remember to ink it too. Ah, there we go. Let's ink this really quick. I'm going to add some glue here, edges, okay, I want to get the, oops, wrong way, make sure you have it the right way. Have that and then you need to cut another little piece here to make a little bow like that. And just trim this up Add that on there, and then we need we need to cut this down. We need this for the straps. Ink this really quick. Okay, so we need to glue this down. We need it here. So I want to make sure I trim that off. Let's 
So I'll stick this on there. And I'll have to trim that. I need a glue dot for here. We have that. And then the last thing we have to do is just do her strip <coughs> from here. So I'll just cut this here. So I want to put that down and then make sure we get this other side even. that looks good. Now we're just going to use my knife. Okay, I think that's it. So, there it is. Front cover. Done. I'll have to trim, go around and trim this around. And there's this. And then there's a mat that goes in here. You guys can make, cut your own mats, right? So this way we can get to the cards. So that's the this page. And then a pocket for here goes in there then we have this and we have this goes in here like that oh, thank you Jen we have our page with our fish in there and there's another mat that goes in here so you guys can cut your own mats then and then this is the one we did that's that page thank you bunny thank you Kathleen this is the one I didn't do yet because I'm waiting for my octopus dye. And then this is our last page. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fran. So I'll show you the original. So the front came out cute. So it's the same thing. There's this one. And then here's the mat. I stuck this and I added a little tag to hold this in here like that. It also holds a beach ball down like that. And then this is one that has the tags. And then each pocket has one of these inside the pocket. <laughs> and then see, I added glossy accents on these. And then here's our mermaid page. Thank you. And then there, I didn't have another starfish, so I have to add some more sand on the other page. There's that one. <laughs> That's good, Gay. And then there's one, so we had the pockets, and then I added the strip here. And all of these mats are actually from the back cover. I tore the back cover off of the collection, and then just cut this up and used it as mats. And then I added the burlap paper on there. Thank you, Jess. So, yep, and you can just go ahead and fill it up with the different mats. And, you know, this one comes out. That's our octopus page. 
And this one I added a little bottle with like a message in there. I don't know if you could see it in there. Oh. A little message in a bottle. Yep. And then our octopus came out cute. And then that's it. The back. So you guys have any questions? I'm going to clean up real quick and then I'll go over the cards. Um, real quick cards. Thank you, guys. All right. So let me clean this up really quick. Oh, and I have um, also, too, I wanted to tell you with the pattern, this is the front cover. But if you went ahead and just drew a straight line from here to there and then flip this over, you can actually make a pocketbook album. So just so you know. Um, and then I would just, um, you could come down here to about here and then draw. Where's my ruler? No ruler. I'll use this. Draw this from edge to edge. And you could have a flap for your pocketbook. Message in the bottom. Yeah. So, and then you would just put a little strap in here for a handle, and then you could dress up your pocketbook. So then your binding would go on this side, not down here. And then you could either open your book this way, or you could flip it around and go like this. Um, not yet, though. On thanks. I guess when I when I talk about it, you can in a few minutes. Okay, so let's clean this up, and then let me get my other box out. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> Clean this up. Yeah. Um, I almost hate to stop the recording. I'm going to stop the recording and then we're going to do the card. So I got all the cabana all on one part. So don't go away. I'm going to stop the recording. 